and thank you for joining us. I'm David Belmondo. Roar on the Shore begins this coming Wednesday. Now this year taking place for the very first time in Northeast at Lake Erie Speedway. Saida Abbas spoke to businesses along the way to see how they're preparing. She joins us now from the control room. Hello, Saida. Hi, Dave. Yeah, Roar on the Shore bringing a lot of excitement to Northeast. I spoke to the owner of Grape Arbor Bed and Breakfast, and she told me they're already booked up for the majority of the event. Northeast will be hosting Roar on the Shore for the event's 13th year. So we do get some people that come every year back and want to stay in the same room every year. There's a group of people actually that are actually coming for Roar on the Shore. Peggy Hauser is the owner of Grape Arbor Bed and Breakfast. She expects a good turnout. I don't think there's any reason why the turnout would be any different because all of the same things that brought people for Roar on the Shore are still going to be there. Currently, the Grape Arbor Bed and Breakfast has only one room open. Open on Friday. Management at Skunk and Goat told us they're involved with Roar on the Shore in more than one way. We're doing the bud tent, so um, we're in the bud garden uh, where it's the only tented area up there. Um, we are going to be selling our Southern Smash sandwich, Molly Brannigan's cheesesteak hoagie, and the Cork's shrimp roll. Christina Davis is the general manager at Skunk and Goat. She feels the restaurant is ready for Roar. We are making sure that we're fully staffed. Uh, we are bringing in a ton of food to uh, make sure that we don't run out throughout the week. Uh, a lot of prep going on back in the kitchen. The event will start at 4 p.m. on July 17th and go until July 21st. And from July 17th to the 20th, a concert taking place each day in Northeast. Dave? The roar began. Thanks a lot, Saida. Well, the seventh 